Hey guys, how are you doing? It's been almost two weeks since my last update on the green stalks, so I thought I'd show you guys what's going on before I start harvesting the lettuce out of there. Okay, here's my first green stalk. This one has most of my greens in it. Um, so there were some radishes up here. I've already started harvesting some of them. This China Rose Radish just didn't really do very well on the green stalk. I think I'm gonna try it in a pot this fall and just see, cause um, they were they were going to seed and they just weren't, or they were bolting and um, it just didn't produce a full long radish like it was supposed to. So that was kind of disappointing. But anyway, we'll start here at the top. Um, so we have the Tom Thumb, not Tom Thumb, I'm sorry, the Micro Tom tomatoes up here um, and as you can see they're starting to get little tomatoes on it and they're so adorable they're so tiny um, so there's one there there's radishes that were in here that I already harvested um, these also did not come out very good the pink beauty so again I'm gonna try them like in a pot uh, this fall and see if that makes any difference um, another Tom Thumb. No, I keep saying that, you guys. <laughs> Micro Tom. <laughs> Micro Tom tomato. Um, and this one also has a little tomato on it. There's another Micro Tom. And it's also getting tomatoes. So that's the top. And then here in the middle, or I guess the second tier, we've got our lettuces. So this one I think is a, yeah, Rouge de Hiver. It's almost like a red romaine type lettuce. Um, and then we have the Solar Flare um, right here. Let me turn it here. Is This is the Tom Thumb, <laughs> Tom Thumb lettuce here. And there's actually three of them in here. So this one's still, I might have to take this one out early. We're starting to get some hot weather um, here in Kansas, like the next couple days, it's going to be in the upper eighties and lettuces don't usually like the warmer weather. And I'm kind of worried about them getting a little bitter. So I'm going to start harvesting some of them. I might leave some of them in here to continue growing because the weather will cool off just a little bit after these two days. Um, but yeah, so let's go back to it. Okay, so this one is an ice queen. This one's a little smaller than the other one I have in the green stock. I'll show you the other one soon. But it looks really good though. And this is the May Queen. This is the Marvea. So the Marvel of the Four Seasons, I believe. Okay, so that's that tier. Let's go down to this one. This one is the Suzu Baby Bok Choy, which um, is probably going to be done here pretty soon. Some of my bok choys have been bolting because the weather has been getting warmer. Here is the Paris Island Romaine. This one, I can't remember. I think it was one of my bok choys that I harvested, maybe the tiny bok choy. And I ended up putting a basil in here. So this one is actually a tower basil. I grew it a couple years ago and I really liked the tower basil. So I thought I'd buy some seeds and try it again. Here is a tomato sucker that I have from one of my other tomatoes from the other green stock. That I, so this one is a mystery, it could be um, it could be 4th of July, it could be a jet star, it could be a cherry tomato, um, it could be any of those. <laughs> this one was the, um, uh, rocket, rock, what is it, rocky top lettuce mix? There was just three different kinds in here. I've been taking a lot of these, like the outer leaves for salads for this one. I particularly love this one. I don't know what kind of lettuce this is, but it's really good. Here's the purple lady. It was starting to get eaten up, um, but I have been spraying some neem oil on it in the mornings and the evening, and it seems to be doing a little bit better, so that's good. Okay, that's back to the baby bok choy there. Okay, we'll go on to the next tier. Um, this one is the, um, the little gem lettuces. There's two of them in here. They are looking really good. Uh, this is the Dino Kale, K 
getting eaten up, so I've been spraying that with neem oil too. I'm not quite sure what's what's eating it. It doesn't look like cabbage worms because I haven't been seeing any of those on there. Spinach. I should have planted more of the spinach. <laughs> Um, this is another Marble of the Four Seasons again. This one definitely looks fuller than the other one. Swiss chard. And then here's that other ice queen that is bigger. Okay, Solastro. This one's a Shishido pepper. This is one that I started from seed myself. Another Shishido that I started from seed myself. This is a Craig's Grande Jalapeno. Started that one also. This one is mystery, but I think it's another Shishido. Another mystery, and I think this might be the Jalapeno. So that's what I have in the first green stock. So I'll be harvesting some of those lettuces and I'll, I'll show you some of those as well. But let's hop over to the other green stock so you can see that one. So that's what this one looks like at a distance, by the way. Okay, and then we'll move over to this one. You can see this one has gotten quite a bit bushier since the last time I updated you guys. So let's get closer and, and take a look. Okay, so we'll start at the top. It's very bright on this side, so I'm sorry. I thought I was shooting this video with a little bit of cloud cover, but the sun decided to to come back out <laughs> okay so um, this one is the micro Tom not Tom thumb this one's getting tomatoes on it got some spring onions which I have been harvesting a couple just to use in the kitchen a couple at a time okay more onions Let's see and then another micro Tom up here this one I'm not sure if it's getting tomatoes yet getting close though okay second tier let me kind of zoom out a little bit there we go second tier I've got beans um, I have two different kinds so this one let me try to get centered here so I know which what which is what okay so this one is uh, the Kalima bean which is a bush bean that is in these next three pockets next two pockets after this one so this one and this one okay and then I started some jade bush beans so one has come up here the other two seedlings uh, struggled so I went ahead and planted two more because you could do about three per pocket in the green stock um, another jade bean here again two came up fine but one more I had to plant in there and then another jade bean here Okay, so next pocket are the peppers. Um, so this one is a shishito pepper. Look how crazy this is. This one's like really, really bushy and has a lot of little um, flower blooms on them already. I love pepper blooms. I think they're so pretty. But yeah, there's looks like there's gonna be a lot of peppers on here as long as everything goes well. Uh, okay, next one is, this tomato plant's kinda in the way. <laughs> This one is a Serrano. I think I'm starting to get some buds. I'm not sure. This one's taking a little bit longer than the others. Next pocket is um, basil. It's just sweet basil. And then this one is the bell pepper and it's climbing up towards the top of the green stalk. I am getting little flower buds. Okay, next one is, I picked this up kind of last minute at the uh, at the nursery the other day. This is a pepperoncini plant and I topped it as you can see here so it should start pushing out pretty good. Um, this one's the jalapeno. I did top this one but it still grew this big long stem right here. <laughs> but it's looking pretty good. Okay, so next, next row. Okay, so here I recently um, put some tower basil seedling, or seeds in there. Um, I think they're starting to come up. 
that one doesn't really look like a basil seed so I'm not I think that's just a weed but maybe this one is a basil and this one over here there this is a um, sweet million and it's already this tall so I'm gonna have to start getting real creative about what I'm gonna do with these tomato plants here pretty soon <laughs> but you can see I've got lots of tomatoes on them look at that and got more blooms here at the top next pocket is some marigolds I believe this is a white variety next pocket is lettuce leaf basil this pocket here is a sun gold cherry tomato we're getting some tomatoes on this one too and I think there's more at the bottom yeah there's more right there and then there were some basil seedlings that got put in that pocket I'm just gonna leave them for now this one's starting to get pretty tall too okay I have another sweet million this one's also just getting really big Let's see the tomatoes there just getting really really tall so okay so that is that tier let's go down to the bottom tier now here is a fourth of July and you can see tomatoes there so I had a little mistake that I did with this one so I don't know if you can see it very good but see that little break in the stem that was caused by this little twist tie so I might rethink using twist ties in the future because I think I just tied it so tight that it like ate into the stem so I oh oh my gosh sorry there's birds that just flew right by me <laughs> scared me <laughs> um, anyway I put it back on but just less tight and it seems to be doing a lot better doing it that way so I'm just going to be careful from here on out um, with those twist ties I might get something else actually um, but yeah there are tomatoes on the 4th of July they look really small right now um, okay next pocket I put some little uh, marigolds this is like a the gem variety like G-E-M gem and they're supposed to be like mini little marigolds and it's a variety of colors so this next one is a sun gold cherry here and definitely getting tomatoes on that one too so I should be getting some cherry tomatoes here pretty soon which is really exciting next pocket are marigolds and then last one Oh, nope, not last one. Next one is the uh, Jetstar. This one's really bushing out, kind of different than the other ones. It's not quite getting super long, but just really bushy. And you can see the tomatoes there. And then the last pocket is the purple opal basil. So this is what I've gotten so far. I have an ice queen in there, the Merveya there, there's a Rouge de Hiver, or actually I think that's the uh, solar flare, and then I have the, the Paris Island as well. They're a little on the small side, I think they could have had more time to develop ahead, but as it's getting hot I really don't want to risk too much of my lettuce being um, bitter. So maybe I can get my timing right in the fall or spring next year. Maybe start my lettuces even sooner than I did. But not bad, guys. We're going to be having salad tonight. So I think I'll let the other lettuces continue to grow for now. Um, see how they do in a couple days with the, the heat. And hope that they remain okay. But I think it'll be fine. Either way, I'll eat it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again. Um, I hope you had a good time looking at my <laughs> green stalks. Um, but anyway, until next time, bye. 
I went ahead and harvested my lettuce because the weather's not really going to cool down much this week. Um, so this is from the grow bag, as you can see. And this is what I got from it. Quite a bit, actually. I'm getting ready to do the rest in the green stock, so I'll show you what I have after that. But this is the Tom Thumb lettuce. How pretty is that? All right, here's the majority of my lettuce that I got out of the green stock. Green stock's looking a little empty. <laughs> um, I went ahead and took out the spinach because it was going to start bolting. And then this is a little gem. Look at this. Oh, it looks so good. And then we have the May Queen. Got a little burnt edge on that one. And the Marvea de Quatro Saison. Um, yeah. Looks like we're going to have salads this week. And I think I'm going to share with my in-laws too.